I was born in Niagara Falls, New York, uh, February 16th, 1953. Uh, my father, chemical engineer. Um, my mother was a uh, bookkeeper for uh, medical offices and, and other things and had a uh, wonderful childhood. My uh, grandfather was the superintendent for Empire Concrete and was part of one of the largest concrete pours in the world, which was the Niagara Hydroelectric Project. So I grew up, and I've been told my first word was aggregate, because of, uh, and I love concrete. I still, to this day, absolutely love concrete. But I, I, I grew up, I've always wanted to draw it's, and paint. It's just what I've always wanted to do. And I continued to do that and uh, enrolled in art classes and went to, after I finished high school, uh, I went to the Harris School of Art in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Isaac Harris was 88 years old, I think, at that point. And he was a friend of Rockwell's and he and Rockwell had gone to school together at the Art Students League in, at the turn of the century. So he was getting pretty old in, in the uh, early 70s. So uh, I went from there back to Mobile, where I started doing commercial art and other things to make money and moved out on my own. And then decided I was going to move to Fairhope because I met Cleveland Woodward. Now Cleveland Woodward was one of the finest maritime painters and biblical artists in the country and in the world. And he uh, has biblical paintings all over and worked for all the major companies. And at the time I met him, I was in my early 20s and he was about 75 and a great lion of a man. And I had uh, just thought this guy hung the moon. So I moved to Fairhope to just sit at his feet. I was doing jobs for ad agencies in Mobile um, and a few other paintings and such, but I was scraping along and doing all right. Uh, and I was asked to join a coffee club. Now the coffee club, Mr. Woodward had had when he lived in Truro. And when he came to Fairhope, he set up a coffee club. We all rotated from our houses. Every week we would meet at some of the houses. And that's where I cut my teeth on the most incredible people. I was the youngest person in there by about 40 to 50 years. And for seven years, I just sat at the feet of these gentlemen. We had the retired dean of Tulane's Law School. We had authors. We had architects, we had writers, uh, we had remarkable people. So I just listened. And I consider that my higher education was just listening to all of this incredible experience and the stories of these people. During that, I've, I've gotten interesting commissions. Uh, uh, I'm the only living artist I've been told in the Air and Space Museum. Uh, I have several paintings in the Naval Academy. I've gotten to work with phenomenal people. I was Historian General of the Naval Order of the United States for five years and helped get a statue built monument on the beach at D-Day uh, for the 1,682 sailors that were lost uh, at that point. Uh, it has been an interesting journey. It's uh, still an interesting journey, a long way to go.